character voice. All righty, Vex Badge. Here we are. We are beginning at Ridgeland Tower today to see what adventures Link may get up to here in Hyrule. He begins his initial foray into the castle to see what can be found in Hyrule Castle. As you can see, the castle is surrounded by Calamity Ganon with a great deal of very strange pink and black smoke or something like this. We are not sure what is going to come of this, but we are going to do our best to venture into the castle and not die. We will do our very best. This is not the hat that I was looking for. Where is the hat that I was trying to find? The wild link surveys his surroundings as a long slumbering Hyrulean or Hylian doing his best to make the most of the tools that he has been given. Hopefully save all of Hyrule in his endeavors. It is said that the wild link only communicates in grunts and slashes. Why this is, no one is exactly sure, but we are doing our best to learn about this strange Hylian elf. All right. Before we go into the castle, we are going to need somewhere that we can cook. So we will stop over here at the Tabantha Bridge stable and do our best to get some food together before we go into the castle proper. Vex Batch, I hope you enjoyed your character voice redemption. Thank you for being here and earning those embers. I appreciate it. <laughs> Just over there giggling. <laughs> the small elf boy can, in fact, do a climb. Yes, precisely. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's a good time. All right, so we need to go over here. There should be a cooking pot. Since this is a stable, I would imagine. Is this grass long enough that I can actually chop it down and maybe get some, uh... Hylian rice? Possibly. You are very welcome, Tipsy Tiger. I hope I hope you enjoyed it as well. No! This is not long enough that I can actually... Potentially get some, uh, Tabantha wheat. Alas. That's okay. We can still go over here, get some cooking done. Do, 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 do. The fact that he has to climb up on this box to get these wild berries. Hilarious to me. Okay, so I have... I have no real idea as to what is going to be our best bet for finishing up the... I can't take a picture of the wood bundles? Weird. All right. Um, what is going to be our best bet for having food for the castle itself? Um, I feel like defense food, heart boost food... I don't know that attack boost is necessarily going to be good. Having some sneak elixirs seems like it's going to be helpful. Thank you for the trifecta. Hydrate, caffeinate, and take a bite. Let's see. We've got some stamina recovery food. 
which might be helpful. I'm thinking maybe... Maybe three... Two more sneak elixirs. Three movement elixirs. Fun! Hello, Fun. How we doing out there? Welcome in. Welcome in. Many of you already know our lovely friend Fawn and Games. They are a delightful human out there. Fostering a very similar cozy vibe. So if you like the overall cozy vibes here, Fawn and Games has them in spades. It's so good over there at Fawn and Games channel. Hello, friend. Yes, we got a hat redeem from Purple Kara. So we are doing the hats off right now. But it is a lovely time over there in Fawn and Games channel. Delightful place to be. If you are not yet following them, you should. Hat. Yes. Hat. All right. So three. I need three hasty elixirs, three sneaky elixirs. And then I think we're going to focus on heart boost, stamina recovery, and defense. I think that's the main focus here. So what did I say? Speedy elixirs. Stealthy elixirs. What else do I have that does the, the stealth stuff? We've got Sunset Fireflies. These do... Okay, Hot-Footed Frogs do speed. Tireless Frogs do max stamina increase. All right. Fireproof Lizards, high tail Lizards. high tail Lizards do speed. So Hot-Footed Frogs and high tail Lizards do speed. What else do I have that does the, the sneaky sneak, so? Do I have anything else? Is that it? Hmm. Maybe that's all that I have right now. I don't have any beetles or anything. Well... It works. We will do the thing. It's at least a a one mark for sneaky. I might actually do better with food at this point for sneaky saturation. Because we've got... What all do we have here? I know the... No? Are we just really low on sneaky stuff? <laughs> I'm glad you are enjoying the vibes. It's a good time. This hat has sadly undergone some damage. So the crown of it isn't shaped particularly well anymore. I would like to get it repaired at some point, but... So close to that perfect Pokedex? Oh, the satisfaction. The absolute satisfaction that comes from that kind of completion is so good. It's so good. So I'm very glad that you are getting ever closer to that. Because I, I definitely feel that. That's very, very strong vibes. Do I really not have anything? Oh, I've got silent shrooms. Okay. That's helpful. So we've got silent shrooms. I should have... I've got plenty of these guys. I've got plenty of the sneaky river snails. Defense. Attack power. Attack power. Maximum hearts. Stamina, heat resistance, cold resistance. Okay. I don't have nearly as many diverse ingredients as I thought I did. But oh well. 
There we go. That's a little bit better. Eight hearts and two bars of sneak. So that's useful. Also, Purple Kara, hands off to you, my friend. Thank you so much for being here, being a wonderful part of the community, and earning those embers for that hats off redeem. Hats off to you, my friend. Hope you enjoyed. Five hearts what? Yeah, bucks. I'm so confused. Also, welcome back to Mountain Shade Village. How we doing out there? Sneaky River Snails, my new band name. <laughs> A good one. I like it. Let's see here. Um, what was I doing? The fish and mushroom mushroom skewer. Oh no, it's eight, because the first one has a little five next to it, and then there's three more hearts, so it's an eight heart boost. So it's very powerful, is useful. All right, we want some more. It's very tiny, and it's very difficult to see, especially if you're on a tiny screen. Um, all right, we wanted to do one more. I think we want to do some sneakies or some hasty foods now. I don't know if we want to do foods or elixirs. Let's see what we've got that we can put together here. We've got the... Hot-footed frog. We've got... That's stamina recovery, and that's not so helpful. We've got the high-tail lizard. I think that's it for speed. Do, do, do. Just those two? Maybe just those two. So I'm going to go for Lizifo's tail as my monster ingredient for this one. Hook that up. Ooh, yes, critical success. Thank you very much. We got three hearts on this one and a double boost on the haste. Very helpful. Love that for us. All right, so we will do the same again. Do, 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 do. Very good. And we'll do one more of those. And the hot-footed frog. And for this one, let's actually try one of the ice lizard falls tails. See if it does anything fancy. I don't expect it to. Doesn't seem to, but you never know until you try, right? Um, one of the other things that we need to do is actually just use up the last of our divine champions benefits as well so that we can get those reset and go into the castle with full benefits on all of those all right we're gonna do some more heart boost stuff as that's gonna be helpful I am interested to see where we might go. All right, that's stamina boost. We need we need a heart boost. I know there's other stuff that we have that does heart boost, but I can't remember what it is. Meat is going to be our base ingredient here. That's stamina limit. There we go. Hardy truffles. That'll do what we need it to do. So 
salt. So I'm not sure if there's anything that's going to be particularly useful for us um, in terms of going and doing stuff before we go into the castle. I feel like there's a lot of just, like, overall stuff that we could go and explore. But I don't know. Holy Toledo! Plus 19 hearts. Okay. Alright. I didn't even think about that being a possibility, but that's a possibility, I guess. Heck. That's, that's a lot. So many. Alright. Um, we're gonna do some more regular hearty truffles here. We're gonna do two of those and two of the hearty radish together. And a piece of gourmet meat. Perfect. Yes! Strong elf boy. Be very strong. Actually, did you say party radish? <laughs> I did not say party radish, but I enjoy that greatly. I said hearty radish, which is this one right here. I like that though. That's delightful. That makes me really happy. <laughs> the radish is ready to party. <laughs> So much party. Oh my goodness. Alright. Uh, what else we got here? How much space do I have? None! <laughs> the answer is none. Um, although, I'm kind of okay with what we've got here. It seems like a good setup. I still have... I still have these spicy and chili elixirs, and I've got the electro elixir over here. That I kind of don't need. That are taking up space. But. A little radish party. Yes. Now I want to have a radish party. How do we have a radish party? I want to know. Food pages can go up to three pages. I, I don't think we're going to be able to cook another one. But I'll try. I will try. What's going to be a good... I don't have any stamina elixirs. That would be a good choice. That would definitely be a good choice. So let's do... Stamina recovery. And we'll grab this. This is a false horn. We did talk about a tea party stream. Maybe we have radishes. Ooh, you could do, like, radish finger sandwiches. That could be cool. Hey, you were correct. I definitely remembered it being only two pages. So thank you for that save. I appreciate that. I would have done silly things and gone in with only, only two pages of food. That would have been very silly of me. All right, we're going to do a bunch of stamina elixirs here. And then we're going to do some stamina boost elixirs as well. Psychotic deer, welcome back to Mountain Shade Village. What are you up to today? What plans do you have for your day? Maxed out my pages before by accident. It actually gives you an error. You're out of space. Yes, it does. You are correct, and I have done that several times, because imagine me maxing out my inventory. Who would have guessed? Um, but I, uh, I learned that that was possible, and for some reason my brain told me that that happened during, um, at the two pages mark instead of at the three pages mark. Got overzealous cooking under a blood moon? Oh, goodness. 
That sounds dangerous. Journey inventory maxing sounds fake. I know, right? No one would expect it. No one expects that I, one who picks up everything under the sun, might do something like max out my inventory. No one would have expected it. No one. Or Metroid Exodus. Got an achievement called Tea Party. I sat down and listened to a crazy man talk about two dead people next to him. I don't know how to react. I, you know, weirdly, that sounds very much like a lot of games that I have played. So, like, I get it. Um, especially if that's on theme with the rest of the game, right? Oh, well, it makes perfect sense, then, if you got tea. That makes perfect sense to me. I could put another uh, monster part into this. It might have given me more stuff. That would have made sense. Silly me. Do, 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 do. There we go. That could be amazing. I would love to see the Mad Tea Party as a D&D &D encounter. I'm sure somebody has done it at least once that you could probably get a little bit of inspiration from. There's got to be a lot out there. All right, we've got Tireless Frog. We're going to do some more... Hot-Footed Frog. No, wait, that's Speed Boost. Speed Boost is not what I want right now. All right, we got one, two, three, four stamina potions. There's a TTRPG called We Were All Mad Here based on Alice in Wonderland. <gasps> Fun. If you have access to it, please either put that in the Dice Goblins chat on the Discord or send it to me as a whisper so that I can share it later because that's amazing. If you have a link to it, I would love to see it. I want to know. That sounds amazing. That's true. You do have March Hare, Cheshire Cat, and Hatter as canon PCs in your game. So it would definitely be worth looking into. Do you have somebody who plays the the Dormouse? Dormouse is actually one of my favorite characters in Alice in Wonderland. One of my absolute faves. Also, I just realized I still have a whole bunch of stuff from the Support Ukraine um Back on, was it Humble Games that hosted that? I don't remember now. But I haven't, like, gone through the content pack that I got. Have a good lurk, Psychotic Deer. All right. Um, what was the other thing I was going to do? Help. Brain empty. No thoughts. I can make at least one more stamina potion. So we'll do that. We'll run uh, stream raiders. Maybe I'll remember. Coffee time! My goodness. Yes. So, for anybody who doesn't have context, the Tipsy Tiger runs a homebrew world that is all based around fairy tales. So the PCs all come out of fairy tale stories. Um, the setting is based around fairy tales and folklore and all of that kind of cool stuff. It's amazing. It is so much fun. I now have two PCs in the setting at different times. It is super cool. Super cool. 
But I am very excited to see Simone again. I got to see some of the older ones as well. Had to call mom. That's important, though. Stuff like that is important. Can take a lot of brain power. So good job taking the time to do that. You got that ready to go. All right. What was I going to do? We got some stealth. We got some defense. Maybe another defense would be good. I feel like we don't need much more in the way of speedy. We've got seven. So maybe just some plain, some plain food that's stuff that we can use to like kind of top off our hearts here and there. Another defense or two. Something like that. But I am taking suggestions for last minute stuff that we want to do before we go and fight Ganon. I don't think we're going to have enough to go and get some more guardian armor as much as I would like to. I don't think that's going to be a thing because we only have five ancient gears right now. So trying to go and do the guardian armor is going to be a, a heck of a thing. What was I going to do? Oh, right. Defeat the ultimate evil. Exactly. Exactly. Carabington, what's going on? Welcome back into Mountain Shade Village, friend. How you doing out there? Defense. Defense food. That's what we are focused on right now. Jeez. My heckin' brain. Do I have brain cells in my brain cavity? Sometimes I do not know. Because it sure does not feel like it at times. Just passed your driving test. Congratulations, Kirbyington. That's awesome. Very nice. We love to see it. All right. Defense. Defense is Amaranth. We got Amaranth that gives us defense boost. Do we have any mushrooms that give us defense boost? Yes, Iron Shrooms. Iron Shrooms will give us defense boost. What else we got? Is there anything else that gives us defense boost? Armored Carp, but it looks like I don't have any Armored Carp right now. We have Armored Porgy! Excellent. We will grab some Armored Porgy. Yes! Let me see some torches in chat for Kirbyington. Congratulations on passing your driving test, friend. That is delightful. All right, do I have anything else that's going to give me armor? I have stamina koga. No, no. Okay. I guess not. I guess that's all I've got. All right, then. Um, oh, wait. Do I have a crab? Stamina from the bright-eyed crab. Iron shell crab. Fabulous. Excellent. Um, so we are actually going to save the iron shell crab. We're going to add more of the Iron Shroom and Amaranth. And that ought to do pretty well. You know what I just realized, though? Ooh, three heckin' levels of defense boost. I just realized that usually I have my snack on my right-hand side. Because um, there's more open space on my desk. But I definitely did grab chopsticks to eat my snack because it's all, like, wet food and I don't want to get it all over my fingers. Um, and so, like, I was like, hmm, I need to, I need to, like, have that on my left-hand side so that my dominant hand can use the chopsticks. Because <laughs> otherwise I'm going to have a real sad day. Oh, goodness. Alrighty. Let's see if we can do a version of this that has a little bit more in the way of hearts. So maybe we'll do two of the iron shrooms um, and add some rice into the mix. So that we've still got three, we've still got four things. Yes, clearly I need to practice chopsticks with my right hand. There we go. That's better for hearts value. We've got six hearts on that one. Still not... Still not very high, but better than uh, the three hearts that we got the last time. Maybe, maybe I'll just do, let's do three iron shrooms, one, 
Iron shell crab. We'll do the rice still. And then we'll try doing the amaranth with the raw prime meat that we have, or maybe the gourmet meat. And that might cook up better with hearts and still give us the defense value that we're looking for. So let's give that a try really quickly and see how that turns out. So we'll do four amaranth and one raw gourmet meat, which is going to give us a steamed meat dish because it's a whole bunch of plants and some meat. Yeah, six hearts and only one, only one defense level. So it is not as useful all around. So the amaranth is really just not helpful to me. Is it used in uh, upgrading armor or something like that? Because as a cooking device, it's definitely not as helpful as I would like it to be. All right, we're going to do some basic food now. Um, so that we've got some, some simple food that we can just boost and keep whatever... Um, effect we might have, right? And not interfere with the effect that we have. There we go. Six hearts, simmered fruit, no special effects. Nice. All right. So let's do something that's maybe a little more hearty here. Uh, we'll go for Hyrule Herb. No, I didn't want to eat it. I wanted to hold it. Thank you. Um, we're going to do the gourmet meat here. Do rice. Maybe two things of rice and some salt. That should give us a rice bowl. Excuse me. Yeah, there we go. Gourmet meat and rice bowl for 12 hearts with no bonus effects. Doo -doo. All right, so we've got six basic, seven heart boost, four stamina increase, or stamina restore, rather, and five stamina restore elixirs. Got a couple of increased stamina foods. That seems like another one that would be worth picking up, right? And we can make four more meals. So let's see what I've got that does increased stamina overall here. Does the Endurish Room? Yes. So the Endurish Room will do increased stamina limit. The Endura Carrot also does the... Endurance stamina limit boost. The pumpkin does defense. Is there a, an herb that does stamina boost? I don't know if there is. The safflina is all elemental. Swift violet is movement speed. Mighty thistle is attack power. Amaranth does defense. Blue nightshade does stealth. So it looks like no. Recover more hearts. Horser Bee Honey does stamina recovery effect. Okay. I've been so busy hanging on to those so that we can maybe interact with the bear that I keep forgetting that it actually has benefits. Um, let's see here. I forget what that can mix with. I know it ends up with like glazed meat. The, what is the stamina fish? So re the stamina fish is to restore a lot of stamina at once, not to increase the overall stamina amount. So I think we are just going to use our 
basic prime meat here. And that should end up with glazed meat and veggies, I think. Glazed meat. Sweetness of the honey permeates the meat and gives it a complex taste profile. Except I ended up with just hearts and not... Stamina boost. What did I do? What did I misread? Stamina recovery, not stamina increase. That's what I did wrong. Okay. So. We grab the base meat. We grab the Endura carrot. And we've got a whole bunch of Endura mushrooms at this point. So we should be able to fill with two of those for one of each carrot. There we go. Perfect. But if that is base stamina boost, so stamina shrooms, stamina shrooms, coarser bee honey, <laughs> cook, elf boy, cook! Yes. Stamina koa. Yes, but if I do, if I do three Endura carrots, because I only have four of them. Like, I want to... Can I add rice to this? I should be able to add rice to this, right? Rice is a neutral ingredient. Um, so I've been doing less of the Endura carrots and more of the Endura shrooms. There we go. Wow. That's my, my full stamina right now. So that's really helpful. So we'll do two Endura shrooms, one Endura carrot, and that's three. So we could actually do, we could probably do three Endura shrooms, right? Do the meat along with it. Nice. All right, what do we got here? Is that everything? That's it. That's a full inventory there. Not too bad, I would say. So now... At this point, I'm trying to think if there was anything else that I specifically wanted to go and explore before we went and did the thing. Is that a... This might be a shrine over there. There's a fourth labyrinth that we haven't done yet, right? I don't remember where it is, but I thought there were four labyrinths. Maybe not, but we've got all three of the... Armors. Only three labyrinths? That makes sense. I keep associating them with the cardinal directions, not the Triforce. I really should, uh, should get the Triforce into my head a little bit more. It would make more sense. We also have not been out to this little island over here. Really. We did a quick little visit, but we haven't gone to see much of it. So, do we have anything that we want to see before we get into the castle? Although I will probably have a 
silly, ridiculous run around day with this. I have no open shrine quests right now. Oh, I wanted to do the eighth her heroine quest. That's right. We didn't do that one yet. Also, there are apparently cookbooks in Hyrule Castle that we have to go check out, which I find hilarious. So let's do... Let's do the eighth heroine quest. And then... I think we are going to do our approach to the castle. I need to change my armor. Stream Raiders time, heck. How did that happen? 45 units on the battlefield though. A strong group. Where's our adventure log here? There's a legend about seven heroines in the Gerudo region, but it turns out that an eighth heroine existed, and she is worshipped to this day by her faithful in the Gerudo Highlands. Show a picture of the eighth statue's torso to Banzai to get the sand boots. You've heard that there's someone well acquainted with the seven heroines legend in Gerudo Town. So we're going to go into Gerudo Town, have a chat with people, and then head out into the highlands to make our adventures. One of the things that I need to do here is work through my Divine Beasts stuff. Our chief has finally done it. It's been a long time since I've seen the desert as peaceful as this. And now that I've refreshed myself, I can really buckle down and get back to living my life. I'm, I'm very glad for you, Marina. Sabota. Sabota. The chief has calmed the divine beast. The town can finally rest easy with that threat handled. Now you can truly relax in town. Feel free to come inside. Yes, because I am very stylish, you know. Actually, one of the things that'll be useful to do here is going to be to pick up a bunch of arrows. I didn't mean to drop that. Why? Remove. Come on, brain. Because we are very low on arrows here. We got zero common arrows, three fire arrows, zero ice and shock arrows, and nine bomb arrows. So buying up some arrows right now is a great plan. All right, let's see who might be familiar with this legend. What we can find out. I don't know what caused it, but I'm re relieved to see the Divine Beast could be calmed. I'm still uneasy, though. You never know what might start stomping around again. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's going to be okay, at least for a while. No, I don't want to buy the, the hardy durian right now. Thank you, though. Oh, you heard the good news? Naborist has finally been calmed. Sounds like our chief and Patricia played a big part in the whole adventure, too. You know, I'm actually fe feeding Patricia her own fruit whenever I can. Now seems like the perfect time to kick off my new brand. Lauren's Fruit Stand. Patricia loves it. <laughs> what do you think? Sounds pretty delicious, right? I gotta work hard to get this brand off the ground. Well, good luck, Lauren. My kid really loves fruitcake, so I make it every once in a while. I have all of the fruit I'd ever need, but it's a bit difficult to find bantha wheat, cane sugar, and goat butter. Anyway, do you have the ingredients? You should try making it yourself sometime. Nice, we got a new recipe. That's helpful. I wonder... We also have some spirit orbs to turn in, but I wonder if the woman who sits back here with the... Statue? Is it over here? Or is it the other way? I don't remember. I'm wondering if that's the person we need to talk to. Savota, Rima. Uh -huh. What is it? I feel like I've met you before, but I don't recall having any Hylian acquaintances. Especially since I've only ever served here in the palace. I've never set foot outside the town's walls. 
I thought I could relax at last, now that Bolaria has come of age. But of course, things can't be easy. With the Divine Beast raging around and thieves breaking into town, I'm retired now, though. So there isn't a lot I can do, unfortunately. Well, this isn't who we needed to talk to. Maybe we need to talk to somebody in the inn? There's lots of options. Oh, look at this cute little Vi. I bet you would absolutely love what we have to offer, little one. We're an inn, of course, but we also have a special spa plan. A vacation for mind and body. It's really, really popular. So popular, in fact, that we always have a long line of people waiting to get in. Although I don't know what it is, but I just feel something special from you. You can cut to the front of the line. Oh, I'm just going on and on. What can I do for you? Nightly rate is 20 rupees, but we also offered the special spa plan that would bring the total to 80 rupees. This sounds like, like instant discovery for us, but, you know... Not everyone comes to town in disguise. Is it my turn yet? Ah. Oh, are you here because you heard the rumors about Roma too? I heard that she has a special technique that will make you feel more relaxed than you have ever felt in your life. But nobody said the wait is going to be this long. I feel like I'll never know what relaxation is ever again. <sighs> I'm so annoyed. Well, are you going to just stare, stand there, or are you getting in line? <laughs> we, can, we can brag, or we can not talk to this person. Good grief. I let myself get annoyed again. I'm going to get even more wrinkles. Poor Tauma. Having a rough day today. Probably many rough days. Savota. Sorry, but can you please keep it down? I've got an awful headache. Sorry, friend. Alright, where else can we go here? These statues are so cool. I love it. Hmm, okay, here's the sand seals. Wasn't there another, like, back alley sort of place that we ran into somebody and there was the... Spirit Orb Shrine? AU with Simone and Zader? Ooh, I like that idea a lot. That's a lot of fun. Would you be interested in t taking my class and interacting with the Vo in the world outside of this town? Uh, I'll observe. Okay, everyone. Let's show our cute observer what we've been learning in class. This seems like it is going to be a ridiculous time. I'm excited for it. You're walking down the street in your w on your way somewhere, and a handsome Vo you've never met approaches. Oh, I would wave casually to him, but also keep myself prepared in case he's a distraction for a bandit ambush. What's Vo again? It's the, it's what the Gerudo call, uh, males. Because they, they are uncommon, so they're not allowed in Gerudo town. Ma. Excellent thinking, Pasha. That's a prudent approach to a new situation. Remember that sometimes Vo may look suspicious, but are just being wary due to the sight of a daunting Gerudo. Oh! I would enthusiastically greet him, approaching with a smile and with my hands clearly empty. <laughs> wow, Dina, that's a very optimistic approach to take. Being overtly friendly is an excellent way to put a stranger's mind at ease. Oh, 
I would walk casually toward him and then strike a fierce blow when he least suspected it. Mood. <laughs> Risa, that would be a crime. <laughs> Amazing. Also, is it just me or does this etching look very much like the broken heart lake that we saw? but joined somehow. I'm wondering if this is where that, like, associated quest might come from. Wait, Risa! Yes. <laughs> that is a crime, Risa. That's not how that works. Alright, I don't know who to talk to about the 8th heroine. Does anybody know who the quest giver is for that quest? Or not the quest giver, but the person that we need to be talking to? Because we already spoke to the quest giver, who is Bonsai, the weird dude who is running around the city trying to attract Gerudo women. But I don't know who we are supposed to talk to. Risa, that kills people! <laughs> yes. Reju has a new quest for us. Maybe that's what we're looking for. When I wore the Thunder Helm and fought along your side, I thought I heard a name called out on the wind. Reju. <laughs> I hadn't been called by that name in a while. That strong, warm voice. It must have belonged to Urbosa. Such insolence! Even deeds as valorous as yours do not earn you the right to speak to the chief. Listen. Buliara. Come on now. Hmm. Oh. Let it go, Buliara. Being called by my name every once in a while isn't so bad. Also, like... Can we, can we talk about how absolutely ripped Buliara is? Like, serious goals here. Serious goals. Alright. I don't know who to go talk... What was that camera action there? Hello? I don't know who to talk to about the 8th heroine. <laughs> We're besties! Besties, friend. It's fine. Seriously, though. Uliar is goals. Hashtag goals. Alright, we're gonna do... 20 of each of these specialized arrows. If I can... We could only do one pack of the bomb arrows, though. Because they expansive! Bundles of five. Rude. All right. We'll have to stop by Terrytown as well. If I remember correctly, we can get arrows in Ter Terrytown as well. All right. I have no clue who we're supposed to talk to about the eighth heroine, though. So we're looking it up. Because I want to do this quest today. Do I want to be her or... <laughs> Honestly, me, I, I want to be her. Yes. Alright, this walkthrough is saying that we just need to go up to the highlands. But the adventure log... 
says that there is someone who is well acquainted with the Seven Heroines legend in Gerudo Town. So maybe I need a different walkthrough to tell me things. Because I don't want to just walk up there. I want to get the... I want to get the dialogue. I want the lore. Give me the lore. <laughs> Pansexual poly M panic. Yes. Very good. All right. Agrees to do the sand boots. Yes, we got that. Are you kidding me? Okay. Okay. Hang on. This is this is ridiculous. I would not have figured this out on my own. Also the name of my band, yes. I did find the answer. I would not have figured this out. I would have had to like run across it by mistake. I have to figure out where I have to be for this. Is this, is this who I need? Hello, Pada. Are you a traveler? Ooh. Sitting here in the chief's is the chief's favorite sand seal, Patricia. But she's no ordinary sand seal. She's actually something of an oracle. If you offer fruit to Patricia by placing it before her, you'll receive some words of wisdom in return. I thought Patricia was one of the guard because we talked to the fruit seller like moments ago, right? I thought Patricia was one of the guard. It is the sand seal. Excuse me. Hysterical. All right. We have our fruit. We give the sand seal the fruit. Sand seals can be knocked out by the sound of an explosion. I'm serious. That was a close one. She tried to slip a seal pun in there. <sighs> Thank you for your wisdom, kind Patricia. We're very grateful. <laughs> Alrighty. Wild berries, you think? Alright, let's do the wild berries. Look to the top of the Gerudo Highlands to see, see, the path to a dragon. Uh, I spared you the seal pun. The top of the Gerudo Highlands to see the path of a, to a dragon. Thank you for your wisdom, kind Patricia. We're very grateful. I have a feeling that Pada is, is not into this whole thing. Very much would like to avoid all of this. Do we have a cold fruit? We have, we do have hydromelon, which increases heat resistance. That might count. I don't know if uh, Patricia will turn around for it, though. So, the peak of the Gerudo Highlands. Where we can see the path to a dragon. Also, that's hysterical. So, Gerudo Highlands. We want somewhere in the Gerudo Highlands to 
Do we want something way up high? Like over here, maybe? Or do we need to be somewhere closer to it? I'm not sure. Also, I don't have... I never did go and get another piece of cold resistance armor because we have to use the the cold snow speed snow boots and the snow speed boots don't give us oh no <laughs> dang it i forgot i was still standing in the middle of gruta town <laughs> uh, oops <clears throat> Apparently, I gotta have that bear midriff. You again. How many times must I tell you Vo are not allowed within the town walls? You understand that you're a Vo, right? Do not return. Well, shoot. <laughs> uh, do I understand that? Not really. But apparently that bare midriff, that's what, uh, that's what does it to make us look like a girl. All right. Uh, we need to go. The easiest solution is probably going to be go to go to the jewelers here and grab a circlet or some earrings that are going to give us heat resistance or cold resistance oh no shoot i don't have enough rupees to get them done well heck <sighs> i suppose i can probably sell her some uh stones All right, we got some things to sell. There we go. Got a good number of luminous stones here. And let's sell 23 of them. There we go. That'll even out our rupees really nicely. We can probably sell some more monster parts, too. Not as valuable, but still helpful. All right. So now let's go for the ruby circlet, which honestly, this ruby circlet is something I could probably make. The pendant itself would look really nice as an epoxy casting. And the beads look fairly similar. It looks like it has maybe a piece of leather to make the... the strap there to go around the head. Looks really pretty. I think it would work. All right, we are going to take a quick side trip to the Great Fairy and see if we can upgrade that jewelry really quickly here. Closest one is going to be over here. Which, I don't know about you guys, but I really love Grandma Fairy. It's a great time. It probably would have made more sense to go to one, uh... Also... Also, did anybody know... That you can swim in the fairy pool? Did anybody else know this? 
I'm a little concerned that this is something the game lets me do. I found this out thanks to a TikTok. I'm a little mad about it. Just... <sighs> I have that knowledge now. And now all of you do too. Hi, Tara. I set a new deep dive record. You came to me to have your clothing enhanced, right? With the power available to me, I can greatly enhance your clothing. Excellent! Alright, let's start with... The ruby circlet here. Ooh, if we can get the guardian circlet upgraded as well, that'll be really nice. Because we'll need that later. I think that's a diamond circlet? I think? Alright. You can probably do the sapphire circlet as well. Ooh, diamond circlet we've already upgraded once too. Useful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. oh. All right, um, the amber earrings, I feel like we don't really need to upgrade. Uh -huh. Sapphire is not so important right now. Mm -hmm. We'll do the ruby circlet first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we still haven't accrued that 10,000 rupees just to be able to upgrade everything to the final <laughs> benefit. The more you watch this, the more you want to go into nature. The, the noises are definitely uh, of a certain style, aren't they? It makes me laugh, mostly. Aww. Ooh, these require the star fragments. Okay. Interesting. I want to see then... Oh, I didn't want to close out of that dialogue box. Dang it. Oh, well. that I would necessarily call it cringe, but there is definitely a concern for consent in this case, I would say. <laughs> like, ma'am, ma'am, I appreciate that you think that I am attractive, but also... Alrighty, so we got our snow boots on, so we can run around. We got our ruby circlet on, we got our warm doublet on. So we are set to go. We're going to save. And then we were going to go up to the highlands and see how we're doing. It makes you cringe? Is that what you mean to say it makes you cringe? Yeah. Like, it would be more funny if it didn't make Link uncomfortable. Because it's very clear that Link is not comfortable with the interaction and like it never changes either it's not like it's not like he gets used to it or appreciates the attention at any point so in that way like the noises themselves I don't find cringeworthy but I do agree that because of the clear dynamic that He's not interested in the attention. It is... It's not an equal interaction in that way. So yes, in that way, I agree.
And I would like to see it not be so unbalanced or be have a progression, right? If it got to a progression where Link felt comfortable in that situation, it wouldn't bother me in that way. But also, like, in the other respect, I don't necessarily want to characterize the action and the characters as cringeworthy because, like, I feel like it's really easy to characterize women, especially older women, which Tara definitely is depicted as an older woman, as an older woman, individual and multiple. Um, but to, to see that as cringeworthy just because it is an older woman having sexual desires, and like, the sound definitely has a sexual vibe to it. Um, but it, the, the thing that makes it uncomfortable is the fact that it's not an, an even, um, or reciprocated, uh, dynamic, right? So in that respect, I definitely agree. Um, but it's also a little frustrating sometimes when just for the sack, yeah, just for the fact that it's, it's women and older women having that perspective or the being able to voice that, that it becomes cringeworthy. Yeah, that it's not a balanced situation. And I appreciate you clarifying that, Gav, because like that in and of itself, 100% agree. It is very, very frustrating to see that depicted on any, any design that you have that unbalanced relationship, right? Oh, before we fight Ganon, I have to remember that I got to change out my gear. <laughs> I totally would have forgotten. We got we got good gear for this. And uh, I forgot that we've got stuff that we can play with. Like we've got all of the the champion stuff, and I forgot that we had champion stuff. Ow. Excuse me. Excuse me. Also, we have a Stream Raiders raid. When I stop fighting these skelly moblins, somebody remind me that we gotta go do the Stream Raiders raid, because I'm gonna forget. Nico! Welcome back into Mountain Shade Village, friend. How we doing out there? Welcome back. I'm doing pretty well today. We're having a good day. It's a good time. Ow. I'm gonna heckin' perish because of these skellies, though. I would like to not do that, please. My goodness. Do I have any mods handy that aren't, like, in a business meeting right now? Ow! Stop it! You're very rude! Well, there goes Misfa's Grace. That I did not want to deal with right now. Come here! Give me your head! And then I throw it off a cliff! What are you up to today, Nico? What you got planned for your Tuesday? Or what plans did you do today for your Tuesday? What you up to? He's so grumpy. Get! There we go. We're gonna collect these moblin horns and fangs. Where did those other two go? They dropped like way up here. There we go. Woohoohoo! Hi, buddy! Uh, what has a zoom on it? The golden bow should have a zoom on it.
Yes! Ah, please don't attack me! No. Oh my gosh. Thank you for the Stream Raiders reminder. Farosh's claw? This is the first claw that we got from Farosh. Awesome. This claw was plucked from the Golden Spirit Farosh. Its electricity has expelled it before it was removed, so it's safe to handle. A store will buy it, but there must be some other use. My goodness, that's awesome! I'm so excited about that. We've gotten claws from uh, Nydra, but not from Farosh. So that's fantastic. I'm excited about that. All right. So, instead of just wandering around for hours on end trying to figure out where this is, I was doing a whole bop. It's true. A whole heckin' bop. Hello. So, yes, for some reason, when you, when you do bop as capitalized, um, it will, ah, did I put down, I put down the flame sword, didn't I? It automatically does the, the emote instead. Listen, listen, y'all. I'm not here for this. Will you, will you stop, please? We're gonna grab this guy. Do, 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 So grumpy. Look at how grumpy he is. And then we... Hiya! Oh, come on. Keep going. Just, just keep rolling. There we go. And then we're gonna go back, because we're still getting the combat music. So much combat music. Actually, I should probably... There we go. I love that I could stagger. Ah! Ouch. Listen, you. I don't appreciate that. No! I keep getting frozen. I keep getting froze from this little guy. Dang it. Ow! All right. This little mini Talos is going to be the death of me. Oh, good. It got thrown by the, the other dude. That's kind of hilarious, actually. That the bone moblins will pick up the... Can I... Can I maybe, can we get another one? Ah! And not get killed by Farosh. We can! Yes! I did not expect to be able to pull two of those at once. Or in one night. That is fantastic. Doggo's posted in the Discord. Yay. I'm excited. All right. Where did it go? Here it is. Oh, and an arrow, too. Nice. So we got another one of Ferocious Scales. Fantastic. I might do, like, a whole dragon hunting time. We unearthed an Octorok. I totally didn't even notice that Octorok was there. All right. <laughs> cool. All right. We got some more of the Skelly Moblin 
stuff here. We'll grab that real quick. Also, I really appreciate that there's updrafts here in the mountains. It's very helpful. That's good design, in my opinion. Alright, so somewhere over here is supposed to be the statue that we are looking for. So let's just drop down a little bit. Try not to smoosh ourselves. That looks like a whole lot of bad news bears over there. Oh, it is actually a, a trunk, though. Instead of an Octorok. I expected that to be an Octorok. I am not going to leave it in the middle of those mini rock dudes, though. We're going to bring it over here and open it over here instead. Ooh, a meteor rod. All right. Do I have anything worth dropping for that? I'm kind of using the giant boomerang as my base weapon until we go and re-kit for stuff. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, is this the statue? This isn't a statue. This is... This is more than a statue. Holy crap. This is a whole heckin' cave design look at this thank you for the earthquake magic sheep look at this carving how cool is that <laughs> you were adding ambiance. Thank you for the ambiance. Look at this! Look at how heckin' cool this is. It is difficult to see. I wonder if it'll look better once there's a little more sunlight. Dang, that's awesome. Speaking of hard to see. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, goodness. Look at that! Look at how heckin' cool that is! Ugh! Is there anything else here? This seems like where there might be some cool stuff. Right? We got a whole bunch of updrafts here. We got some mineral deposits over here. Spooky fogs. Spooky fogs. No, stay on the ground. We got an octa rock that I want nothing to do with. that. Excuse. Least favorite wild creature in this game. Easily. Octorok. You know, I'm a little disappointed there's not more of interest here. 
Like, I appreciate that there's the little mineral deposits here and stuff. But, like, that there's not a shrine here or... Like, a little hidden chamber or something. I feel like something's missing. You know? I feel like there's there's opportunity here. That would have been great to see capitalized on, you know? It's still really cool, just as a landmark. But I feel like I'm missing something, you know? I feel like maybe there's something here that I need to discover that I don't know how to find. And it is tied to a quest, so, like, we are still getting treasure. But... There's something... Something about this, it's like, it feels like there should be more. You know? Because this feels very similar to the place where we found the Leviathan skeleton, right? It feels, it feels like that. It has the same vibe. But there's nothing here. Unless there's a way that we can move the sword. Remember that sword that we found, like, out in the middle of the valley? Because that looks like it should be here. Because the arms are out in front of her, right? As if she were resting her hands on a pommel of a sword. I don't know how it might have traveled that distance. You have shared the pets to the Discord. Excellent. I look forward to seeing that. I will check after Strem. But, like, where is that? So this is the statue of the eighth heroine, right? So it's right here. And then where was, where was the sword that we found? We had it marked at one point. Do I still have the picture in the album? I might have deleted it. No, I still have one. This one right here. Which is also in the Gerudo Highlands, right? So it's somewhere. Is it over here? No. Where was it? It was in a valley sort of area. I think. So is there, oh, was it here? Maybe? All I remember off the bat was that there was a moblin just hanging out next to it. And I don't remember where it was. And I don't know that we can, like, mark this. But I think I removed... I had... Oh, no! Is it here? Maybe it's there. That might be where it is. Do I have another updraft over here somewhere? 
That would be convenient, if so. Looks like no, though. Oh, Tipsy Tiger, did you prank yourself with the pet photos? Now that you know that there are pets out in the world, there must be the cuddles and there are no cuddles for you. A mood, though, really. I do that to myself all the time. But aminals! I want the aminals, though. All right. There's nowhere, there's nowhere like nearby that, that I can really teleport. This is the closest teleport location. Alas. I believe you that they are cute. I 100% believe this. Okay, what was I doing? We were climbing. We were climbing. I may have done some climbing during the Stream Raiders battle, because it went on forever. And so much climbing to be done. Yes! Exactly, Tipsy Tiger. You are part of the village! Leaked Prism, you are part of the village. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being wonderful. And I'm glad that this can be a place where you can regain some solace and enjoy the environment, you know? Urbosa's Replenish those spoons. Thank you, Urbosa. I appreciate you. Is the Lizaphos snoring? Oh, it's watching me very stealthily. I see. You stay over there, buddy. Not in the mood. Oh, why? Rude. Stay over there. I don't I don't want to play with you. Leave me alone. Okay, see? This looks like it could be the same sword that is missing from the statue. Am I wrong? Does this not look like it could have been the statue sword? Is there a way for me to get it over there? <laughs> like... <laughs> Can I get, uh, can I get the dragon to, like, move it for me? Please? Because <laughs> that would be so cool! Heck! Alright. <laughs> can you make a recommendation in regards to what? I mean, probably, but I don't know what you are recommending. The sword? Sure. Yeah, if you know cool stuff about the sword, I would love to, to do stuff with the sword. There's a side quest for it? I mean, there had to be, right? Picture it? Like, take a picture of it? I have this one. Is that gonna do what we need to do? It should. Should I take another one, maybe? With more of the... More of the blade showing, possibly? Yeep. Since we're here.
It just gives us more lore? Okay. All right. Where do I have to go? Where do I have to go? Right? It would be so cool to be able to return the sword to where it goes. Can you imagine? Here, let me just, uh, let me just borrow one of these giant guardians real quick. It's not a big deal. I just want to... It says talk to Bozai. All right. The, the weirdo with the boots. We can do that. Um... I don't want to run all the way there, though. Ugh. The one trying to flirt with you. I mean, he's real rude if you go up to him without the, the disguise on. Weird fact, I have to hide that I have the jabs in work. Boss went on a rant about how no one with, who has those will work for me. What? I... I feel like that is a colloquial term for something that I'm not familiar. Also, good luck out there at work. Notorious Gene. Oh, okay. It is in reference to the vaccine. That's why. Why is that a threat to somebody being an employee to you? I don't understand that. Have a good lurk, lily pandas. Like, how does that make somebody less of a good employee for you? Like, if somebody if somebody wants to be anti-vax, fine. But why is that a reason to fire an employee? Oh, thank goodness you made it back safely. You were gone for so long. I started to fear the worst. Now I have to come clean. The eighth heroine is just an urban legend. It doesn't actually exist. Hi. Well, I just wanted an excuse to get close to you, you know? I wanted to keep you engaged, so I just thought up something impossible to hold your interest. And as a result, I put you in harm's way. I'm a cad, and I've been so, so worried. I won't put you in danger anymore. From now on, I'll be your protect- I found it. Uh. Are you trying to console me because I've been so heartsick over this? You're such a kind soul. But no need to coddle me. From now on, I'll- Look at this. <gasps> that certainly is the way it was rumored to look. That... That's amazing! I thought it was just an old wives' tale. The eighth heroine actually exists? From the rest of the world knew this. It'd be absolute bedlam. But I won't tell anyone. Yeah, that way it'll just be our little secret, right? Sort of a bonding thing. And yeah, if it's okay, I'd like to take this opportunity to ask you... Sand boots, please! <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Just a second. I'll take them off. Dodge the question by saying, I want to see my grandparents so I would get them. Seriously, though. Like, I do not understand the, the thought process behind not wanting to protect other people by doing something simple for yourself when it is not harmful to yourself. And it can only benefit people? I don't know. Something about being empathetic, I don't know. Having compassion. Uh, I don't know. Eh. Sand boots. Gerudo artisans modified these boots for life in the desert. 
The special soles distribute your body weight evenly so you can maintain your normal movement speed on sand. Treat them as tenderly as you would me. Bonsai, they're shoes. Can we... I would walk on them everywhere. Do you see the problem in this comparison? <laughs> now, uh, could you be a lamb and return my snow boots? Otherwise, old Bonsai is going to be barefoot. Buddy. All right, we're done here. Boy, but these will make running in the sand pretty difficult. And I'm pretty tired anyway from my jogging regimen. I think I'll just park myself under the tent in front of Gerudo Town and take five. Care to join me later? Huh? Oh. Huh. Goodbye. Buddy. Buddy. <laughs> Oof. Roof protection is now ready to roll. Awesome. There is the third of our four champion boons. I want to make sure that uh, Mifa's grace is replenished before we head to the castle. So that's going to be useful. Seeing a psychotherapist and an emotional wreck, and I'm sure the most stable one in the company. I mean, the fact that you take the time to actually attend to your mental health, I'm sure that helps. Right? Like... Even even if you have a lot going on, the fact that you take the time to actually pay attention to your mental health, like, that's important and useful. <laughs> and it helps in that balance. Um, let's put the champion's tunic back on here. Need time. Maximum woo. Oh, it's just you. But, huh. Look, I feel like someone should tell you that you have a kind of sulky look about you. Do we? Are we, are we sulky? Do we, do we have a lot of sulk going on for us? I don't know about that. You keep walking around looking all miserable and you'll never get a girl. Oh, what am I saying? Sorry about that. Awfully condescending of me. I've just got wooing on the brain. Girls have always vexed me, but right now, she's all I can think of. Sorry, but I don't even have time for other girls right now, let alone on other guys, you know what I mean? But, Bonsai, do you have something to tell us? If you need something, do me a favor. Ask someone else. Bonsai, I'm concerned about you, buddy. I'm, I'm genuinely concerned about you. You! You came! I mean, uh, hey. Yeah, of course. Figured you'd swing by. Yep, uh, do the old swing by. Bonsai, what are you talking about? Uh. We didn't get a chance to spend much time together earlier, did we? Whoosh! Total whirlwind. So, wanna hang out? I want snow boots. <laughs> what? You want my snow boots, too? <laughs> well, aren't we greedy? Or should I say insatiable for boots? Boot thirst that cannot be slaked. Adorable. But listen, if I give you these, then I'll have nothing for my feet. Aww. Oh, man, what should I do? Think, Bonsai! Can't it put, it to her, put her in a bad mood. Okay, do not blow this. Just relax. Work a little verbal magic. How could I resist a request from you? No lie, you really gave me a surprise earlier, and I love surprises. Surprise me again like that, and I'll give you these snow boots as a surprise present. So let me ask you this. Did you notice that the statue of the eighth heroine isn't actually holding a sword? We did, in fact, notice this. Pretty weird, right? Seven other heroines, they all have their swords. Suspicious, you know? Which leads me to deduce that the 8th heroine must have had a sword as well. Must have! To see that such a sword actually exists, that my deduction is right, and there should be no greater surprise. I'll go look for it. What? You're really going? Well, all right then. The sword would be pretty big, so I doubt it could have been carried off too far. 
I'm bet betting there's probably somewhere in the steeps of the Gerudo Highlands. And the thing is, I can't lend you my snow boots this time. Just can't do it. I'm really sorry. No way a normal person can make it through the Gerudo Highlands without good snow boots. She'll probably give up halfway through and come crawling back. Fine, you win. So headstrong. I love it. I'll be waiting here, okay? <laughs> I'll give you these boots as a surprise present. How is it a surprise? I think it's going to be a surprise to him. Because he doesn't expect us to be able to do it. <laughs> you never need me for anything above and beyond footwear. You just come find old Bozai anytime. All right, let's check our camera roll really quickly here and see if it marked those as our quest. There we go. It did pull the first one, the Forgotten Sword. So it did pull the quest out of our existing photos. Super helpful. Y you! Yeah, I didn't even leave. A traveler swore he saw you in line in the, in the Gerudo Highlands. So I've been gnawing at my fingernails with worry. I mean, all that talk about the sword was just chit-chat. I didn't think you'd go up there without snow boots. Anyway, are you okay? Feast your eyes. We are kind of catfishing this guy. Because he won't even talk to us if we're not a girl. What? It really exists? And you went searching for it without a decent pair of snow boots. I mean, the Gerudo Highlands are unforgiving. I doubt I could survive there, and I'm burly. Who are you? The snow boots. Yeah, you did risk your life to fulfill your promise, after all. And it'd be pretty uncouth of me to drop my end of the bargain. Just a second. I'll take them off. Snow boots. Boots designed for hiking up snowy mountains. They'll eventually, dis they'll evenly distribute your body weight so you can maintain your normal movement speed in deep snow. Well, now I'm barefoot. But if you're happy, then I'm happy. And what's more, this whole episode has endeared you to me even more. Your cutely greedy side, your sassy, playful, rude side, your unexpectedly tough side. Um, would you g go out with not a chance? Eric, I kind of knew you'd say that, but would it have killed you to let me finish the question? I mean... You wouldn't want to talk to me anyway because you think I'm a girl. And you didn't want to talk to me when I looked different, so... You know, no big deal. It's fine. So there we go! Some more lore. For the area. Alright, so since we're here, and I'm curious, I want to try... Going for the spa setup because we have. Do, 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 do. There we go. We have an extra. Um, it's a higher level, like bonus rest location, similar to. The other place near Death Mountain that escapes me at the moment. Um, ooh, we might be able to get some more normal arrows too, which would be helpful. Um, so I'm wondering if it'll give us more bonus hearts. Similar to the massage package near Death Mountain. Or if it's just like the soft beds. I'm not sure. We are going to buy some more arrows. So that we have a bunch more arrows. I feel like having more arrows overall is going to be helpful to us. Would it be useful to get some ancient arrows from Robbie? What do you think, chat? Want fajitas this weekend? Ooh, that sounds amazing. 
Need to find someone to eat them with me as this kit makes eight of them. Living alone sucks for eating. Can you freeze half of it? Because, like, I don't know about you, but I could definitely... Definitely eat myself at least four fajitas. So that would be my question is, can you freeze... Can you freeze some? Because that seems like it would be helpful. All right. Now we've got somewhere in the 40s for most of our arrows. We definitely need some more regular ones. Oh, so you've got you've got plenty of extra food. We just need to like work through what you've already got. I see. All right. I want to see how this how this goes for us. It's true. Freshly made food is very delicious. Yes. It is thanks to the chief that the everything is is taken care of. Spa plan, please. Spa plan it is. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm so excited to get to work. Anyway, when would you like to be woken? In the morning, please. Savour. You're pretty muscular for a Hylian. I like your voish figure. Thanks, Roma. If we get away with just commentary, though, I'll be rather impressed. Okay, so that it did give us three extra hearts. Excellent. Savota, you look like the very image of relaxation. Please be careful on your journey. The desert is dangerous. Ooh, and we got extra stamina. So we got extra hearts and extra stamina from that. That is fantastic. Super excited for that. All right. Next, it is time to stop by Terrytown really quickly. Get ourselves some more arrows. And then we are getting into the castle. It is time, my friends. Nothing more to be done. I am going to grab... Oh, we were going to look at maybe getting some ancient arrows. So we'll go up here and we'll talk to Robbie.